welcome back everyone and it's time to go Bosty! Today we are covering one of the best revelations in Black Clover of recent times. Black Clover chapter 286 was a 10 out of 10 in my opinion. The amount of symbolism, meaning and emotional depth covered in this chapter was fantastic. Tabata does a great job of developing not only Nox's character but also lore regarding the devils in hell and the foundation of the Black Bulls. I will explain Nox's entire backstory and how it is linked back to Yami as well as the meaning inspiration and concepts Tabata used for creating the new ranked devil named Lucy Fuge and also how he created Black Clover. So yes, I'm gonna say it. This chapter was fire! Oh my god! Uh, oh my god! Fire! Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? Stay calm! Okay! Procedure! Calm down! From Black Clover chapter 285, we learned that the high-ranking devils such as Nama and Lilith view Dante as Lucifer's toy. They confirm our notion that he's just being used. Nothing but a Sim King that is doing Lucifer's bidding for no other reason at all than just to be evil. Now, I know my opinion has been quite honest throughout this arc, where a lot of us were asking for a reason behind the Dark Tribe's motivation. We wanted more depth to their characters as to why they are evil just for the sake of being so. Recently, I went back to chapter 263 and read Nark's opinion on this matter and realized that my opinion may be changing. All of us in the anime Bulls Deep community should be allowed to self-reflect, debate and change our opinions when new information is released. If we go back to chapter 263, remember Real asked, why would the Dark Triad do something so dangerous? Where Nark replies by saying probably for no reason we could understand. As a magic knight, you've seen far too much of it already. Scum who hurt others without a second thought for the sake of their own desires, who feel no sense of guilt as long as they themselves benefit. These are the paragons of that breed. What are they thinking? I don't care. I don't even want to understand it. Unjust evil. They're the type I hate the most. We also have Varnaka explaining to us that the Dark Triad also want to live in a world where only the strong survive, where absolute power reigns supreme much like how Libe described hell and its culture, which further the highlights the inspirations Tabata has taken by making Lucifer the supreme villain of this arc. Just like the Abrahamic religions, Lucifer promised God that he would bring damnation and sin to humans so that they will be cast out of heaven just as he is. Lucifer promised to corrupt all human beings by making them fall into desire. This is exemplified through the Dark Triad in Black Clover. For example, we all know the Dark Triad's ideology is stupidity, as absolute Absolute power corrupts absolutely. Examples of absolute power having a corrupting influence are Roman emperors who declared themselves gods, but this eventually led to their downfall as a society. We see history repeating itself in Black Clover, just as it does in real life. Look at our world leaders of today that oppress. I don't think I need to say much more. Absolute power often corrupts because psychologically, the person will not have the people's best interests in mind. They are primarily focus on their own benefits and they may abuse their position of power to help themselves, which explains why Tabata based the Dark Triad on the psychological term that personifies this very idea, the Dark Triad of Machiavellianism, Narcissism and Psychopathy. Now I self-reflected on my opinion for this matter and as of this moment, I agree with Noct. Although I may change my mind again depending on what the future holds, however as of right now, we do not need to understand the Dark Triad because simply put, some people in this world only follow their selfish desire, just as Nark did in his backstory of chapter 286. This comes full circle to his own motivations of wanting to be a good person. Please stick around to the end of the video to understand what I mean. This is why guys, Asta's answer to Dante's statement of evil emotions being the nature of mankind, it's so significant. Asta said that being a good person relies on one not falling into desire and controlling their emotions to be good. That's what makes us human. Once again, following the theme of Asta being the antithesis, as he is the opposite of Lucifer's goal. Tabata made Asta give a brilliant but simple answer. Since all of us have experienced this in our life, no matter what, it is deeply relatable. Now, it could be a hole that betrayed your heart, a friend that stabbed you in the back, or a mistake you made to someone else yourself. You as an individual have to self-improve 
and redeem your character in the eyes of others, but most importantly, yourself. This is why Nark's backstory with his twin brother is so amazing, as he is trying to follow Aster's notion and sees his own brother within him. He's trying to save the world as it was his brother's wish. Nark wants to redeem himself, which is what everyone should strive to do after committing mistakes. He states he doesn't care if he dies in chapter 285 for the sins he has committed. Tabata has created the perfect setup from chapter 286 for Nark's character to embody the will of good, which the overall story is trying to portray. It's brilliant writing for character that was only introduced 30 chapters ago. This is why I believe many of us in our community gave the opinion that Nark's character is a solid 10 out of 10. Please smash that like button to support our channel and hit the notification bell. Let's give Tabata an applause fam. Now, in Black Clover chapter 285, we get a flashback where it's explained that, um, you know, Balls Deep prediction magic was absolutely correct. Nacht and his brother belong to the noble family of Faust. One of them entered the Magic Knights to save people and was considered a role model and loved by many, while the other only used his magic for himself and was generally avoided by everyone for his lack of manners. The ill-mannered brother saw no reason to join the Magic Knights as he didn't feel he would get any enjoyment out of it, whilst his brother named Morgan was on the same squad as Yami and worked with him regularly. Morgan means morning in German and he has light magic, which is the opposite of Nacht, which means night and has shadow magic. This goes back to the theme of duality I explained in our last Black Clover video and will further explore if you stick around. The plot twist is then revealed that the dark haired brother that looked exactly like the Nacht we know now was actually named Morgan. While the the white haired brother that we've only seen glimpses of was actually knocked. This means the knocked we now see is pretending to look like his brother Morgan who was a magic knight in the past and worked with Yami. This is why Jack said his magic knight is different and he doesn't recognize it. Where knocked states that person is dead now since in chapter 286 we learn the truth of how knocked caused his brother's death. Knocked and his brother Morgan are twins and they look exactly the same but their personalities and lifestyles could couldn't have been more different. Morgan was the moral Jesus of the two, always doing the right thing and loving everyone as well as being loved by everyone vice versa, which certainly reminds us of Aster, thus explaining why Nacht remembered his brother Morgan when he saw how Aster speaks and acts. Naturally, Morgan joined the Magic Knights and lived to protect the people of his kingdom, while Nacht rejected that kind of life, as he desired only to live for himself and thus did things that many didn't approve of, making him the target of people's rejection and avoidance. This perfectly fits the theme of the Black Bulls. Yami is someone that was rejected due to racism and every other Black Bull has experienced something detrimental which has made them an outcast. Yami had the goal in mind to create a squad of misfits that could bind together in their issues from society to resolve them with each other and surpass their limits. Now one day, not long ago after Nacht had received his grimoire, a rumour had begun to spread a strange foreign mage had come to the kingdom and received a grimoire matching his strange and unpleasant magic. Out of curiosity, Nacht went to meet this person, only to find the man we all simp for of course, Yami Tsukihiro. This was a very rare occurrence for many reasons, but one of them was that Yami and Nacht seemed to be on the same wavelength and thus got along very well, which may have also been due to their similar magic attributes. Yami having dark magic and Nacht having shadow magic. Because of their similarities, they both found themselves doing bad things around town, but not quite enough to be arrested by the Magic Knights. They knew their limits, and at that point in time, he didn't surpass them. Half a year later, the Magic Knights entrance exam took place. Nacht and Yami both ended up being part of the Aqua Deer, which was known back then as the Grey Deer, and this is when Julius was the captain, right? Nacht didn't believe Yami would be a good fit for the Magic Knights, mostly because he didn't believe he himself would fit in. But it seems his brother Morgan decided to become Yami's friend, and helped him out 
now as a trusted comrade, so he became accustomed to the life of a magic knight. Morgan would often invite Noct to be part of the magic knights, but Noct would refuse and felt bothered by his brother's attempts at including him. When Noct turned 18 years old, his parents asked to see him. He assumed he was in for some big lecture. Now that he was of age to become the head of the family, he wanted no part of that, wishing to leave all that responsibility to his sibling Morgan. But what he would come to find out absolutely shocked him. His parents actually wished for him to carry the Faust family, and they revealed that their family's true practice was devil study. It turns out that the Faust family were actually dedicated to the study of devils, and they wanted Nark to continue on the legacy of being knee deep in knowledge of super satanic shit that would have all of us holding our crucifixes out in front of us and splashing holy water everywhere fam. Fuck this. Nark's initial reaction was one of nervousness, but also excitement. The temptation he felt far outweighed his fear, as he saw this as something that was just as beautiful as it was scary. All his life, Nark had felt like the outcast, the one that no one understood, whilst Morgan fit in perfectly. But now, Nark finally felt like the one that belonged, whilst Morgan was the one that had no place there. He felt ego, pride, jealousy, and many other sins that link back to Lucifer and the inspiration Tabata has used to make this excellent story. Now whilst Morgan and Yami practiced being magic knights defending the kingdom from outside evil, Noct buried himself in the study of a different kind of evil from within the country. So much so that in almost no time at all, he had four contracts with four different devils. He was able to control their ability shockingly well and was called a genius by his father. In time, Noct's ego had grown and he believed it was time to surpass his limits. He was offered something extremely dangerous by that very expert. A relic that had relation to the highest ranking devil, Lucifugis, who rules the underworld. And no, it's not Lucifer, but a completely different high ranking devil that I'll explain shortly. Remember everyone that I have been reading the devil books that Tabata has been using to create Black Clover. Look how casually I'm saying this shit, I'm sacrificing myself for you guys, you have to smash that like button for me and I will be able to uncover the secrets, just stick with me till the end of the video. Basically, Basically, Nacht had accepted the relic, but before he could use it, his brother Morgan revealed himself from among the cloaked people in the background. He demanded for Nacht to stop before he made a grave mistake, and lectured his family about how they were sinning, and that it was too dangerous. But Nacht only saw that more of a reason to do it, as he loved the thrill of this practice. Nacht was falling into his desire, just as the Dark Triad are doing right now, trying to end the entire world. Nacht decided a against Morgan's warning and chooses to put the relic on. Suddenly, Lucifugis appears, responding to Nark's actions, and ended up killing everyone there, except the cost of the ritual. It's here that Nark realizes what he had done, and that he should have listened to his brother Morgan. Nark was too scared to move and try to undo the ritual, so Morgan did it himself and made Lucifugis disappear. Of course, not without a price. This explains why Nark stated he hates the surpass your limit idea and that whole phrase that the black bull used all the time, as he himself hates everything that he has done and what it represents. Nacht held Morgan in his arms as he laid on death's door. Nacht called out to God, asking him to save his brother, as his brother hadn't done anything wrong, but he knew it was hopeless. No one would be saving him, someone like him that had committed sin and such heinous acts out of selfishness. He then had to live with his actions, as he himself was the cause of everyone's death due to having ego, pride and jealousy. Nacht realized he is not worthy and loathing in his mistakes as he fell deep into sin. His brother Morgan told him that one of his dreams was to work with his twin brother. He wanted to save the world and make a difference by protecting the peace with light and shadow magic together. However, Nacht had not seen the light per se and didn't heed to his brother's words. Nacht then states that he will never forgive himself until he dies. He declares to Nama and Lil that he is not trying to correct evil, as evil will always exist due to the duality that exists in the world. However, Nacht intends to kill evil before he even lays a hand on what is good. What a freaking G, fam! Damn! 
The backstory of Noct has proven bold deep prediction magic is too strong as all our predictions ended up coming true. The manga foreshadows the idea of angels and god once again, as I have mentioned it time and time again. This is why you have to hit the notification bell for the goddamn channel and smash the like button and need to know that the community will stay strong even though the anime will stay off air. So let's try and get as many likes as possible. <laughs> Now with that said, Tabata reveals to us the identity of yet another devil who is supposedly a time magic devil. We already knew of the Cleef of Devils and Lucifero being the final devil, yet Noct's father calls Lucifugis the ruler of the underworld and a devil who wields time, space and gravity magic. What this could mean is that just like in the Grand Grimoire in real life where Tabata is inspired from, Lucifugis is a lieutenant of the three highest devils. This means that he serves at least one of them directly. So if this is the devil that Morris has, which would explain why his marking seems to be similar to that of Lucifero in chapter 279, and why he can accelerate the gate in opening due to some sort of time magic and being the catalyst for it. It will make Nark's priority of taking care of Morris a much more personal battle. It would make sense for Nark's biggest fight before he gets taken out of commission to be confronting his past and repenting, just like we see in the story of Faust in real life, the Germanic tale that Tabata is inspired from for his entire character. Nark's character is supposed to represent that of Faust when he got tainted by Mesotophilus. Nark hates himself more than any human, as he knew that he was Morgan's polar opposite. He saw himself as evil, and at this stage of the story, Noct represents a Faust that's close to the end of his story in the Germanic tale where he starts to repent. The theme of the story of Faust is good in humanity, that humans despite their sins can still repent to God and return to good. Faust being tainted by the devil is a reflection of the point at Lucifugis killing Morgan, which is a symbolic recreation of showing how the devil killed the goodness in Faust and tempted him into sin in the original story, since Lucifugis means he who flees the light, since Lucifugis is the means in which Noct lost the light of his life. Lucifugis killing Morgan is the same as killing the side of good that existed in Faust in the story. This is also referenced in the chapter name, the night where the morning never came. Noct right now is still blaming himself for what happened and just like in the story of Faust, he will repent as he probably died, meaning that Noct will most likely find a way to face Morris stopping the tree of cliff of accelerated growth against the devil who tainted him. As I said earlier, Lucifugis is from the Grand Grimoire and the Grand Grimoire alone meaning he does not exist in any other source in demonology. Lucifugis is actually the Prime Minister of Lucifer, despite their names being the complete opposite. Anyways, the Grand Grimoire is significant because it holds the feature of being able to hold special pacts between magicians and Lucifugis so that they can get his customer support number, you know what I'm saying? Meaning that his his services will open for magicians who hold this special pact, but if the magician fails to withhold the conditions of the contract, their soul and body will be taken by Lucifugis, which sounds similar to Mesotophilus taking Faust's soul and if Faust had lost the bet in that original Germanic story. So what Tabata has done, he has been inspired by the Faust Germanic story and the Grand Grimoire and has merged the stories for Nox's character in Black Clover. An interesting fact that is mentioned in the Grand Grimoire is the the three highest ranking devils that they cannot be tied to a pact at all. Which is really interesting because this again proves that the dog triad are nothing but pawns. Anyway guys, I will go in more in depth of Lucifuge once I read the books once again, do a bit more research. This is everything that I wanted to say for this week's chapter and why Black Clover is great. Let me know your opinion in the comment section below. Make sure to smash that like button, follow me on Discord, TikTok, uh, Instagram, Twitch, everything that there is. Buy our merch and I'll see you guys next time. Time.